Hello, Brave Awakened Ones. This is Veronica of High Rum Holistics, Lady V. Thank you, supporters, subscribers, and Patreons. Please share these videos with those who you think it might resonate with. If you're interested in any of my services, books, merch, t-shirts, webinars, sessions, and higher realm magic information and meditations, please visit higherrealmholistics.com. Hello, Brave Awakened Ones. Bonjour. Good morning. Buenos dias. Aloha. <laughs> Queen B here. What's up? We have the victory no matter what bullshit the dark ones try to pull. Sometimes you just need to call bullshit, really. Um, I noticed there are many people out there, light workers, who, you know, are very sensitive uh, to people like me, people like Trump people who speak their mind. Um, I mean, I got so much flack when I first came on. It was just like, I came like close to quitting. It was just like, okay, whatever. They're not going to get me. But then my oversoul was like, just push through it. There's plenty of people out there who don't need everyone who keeps talking like this. And da -da -da -da. Who needs someone who's going to say, yo, it's bullshit. Okay. And because of where we are right now in a time just like this, where we need to run this darkness out of this earth plane, okay, and break through, which we have, okay, we broke through, us light warriors, we broke through on the ethereal, and now the Q Collective, along with us breaking through on the ethereal, have broken through on the physical, all right? Um, I just need to also share this with you guys, because I was getting several complaints that some of my videos have disappeared, so I was like updating my NRV list because so many things are just coming to fruition right now with my NRVs. And then I came across this. I was like, private? I didn't make any of my videos private. Which video is this, Pertel? Well, it's on private. I should be able to play it. Hi, Brave Awakened, Awakened Ones. This is Lady V. Veronica of Hyrule. No, we got to that one that was private. Good this evening, is the one that was Brave made Awakened private. Ones. Veronica of Higher Realm Holistics here. Okay, this video is made on August 9th, 2019, as you could see. NRV 36 talking about the land grab and the flooding of America and mind control victims. So it was made private, not by me. Let's get that real straight. I didn't make any of my videos private. Hi, Brave Awakened Ones. This okay. is Lady V. Veronica of Hyrum Holistics. Let's close this out. And let's check this out. Hmm. Let's go back here again and see what happens. See, immediately jumps to something else. Hello, Brave Awakened Ones. Yeah, Mons. see, this it keeps Veronica jumping to something else. Hyrule. And I know it's this video Good that was made evening, private. Brave Awakened Ones, so let's edit the video. I'm doing evening. this with you guys here. What's up? Uh, See if it's going to let me actually edit the video. See, it should have done that. All right. It says public. That's interesting. It says it's public. I find that very strange. It's saying it's public when it's showing up private. Let's see what else. Good evening, Brave Awakened One. I'm doing this with you guys here Hello, because... Hello, Brave Awakened Ones. This is Veronica of Higher Realm Holistics. So where is the Lady private v. one? Let's put um, this on pause. Let's find this private one. Here it is. Private video, 98. Hey, Brave Awakened. Mm -mm. It keeps popping to another video. It only gives me option to trash it, which I will not trash it. So which NRV is this? We did 261s. We have 60, 64. I will go through it and see which one it is. I have 
oh, my oversoul just clued me in to what it possibly is. It's the one talking about the pedophiles. Like, I just, I just heard that's what it is. So, as you can see, they're up to their bullshit. Okay? They're up to their BS. They mark this private. Okay? YouTube marked my video private. I did not mark my video private. Hello, brave brave women. They're trying to keep the truth from coming out. Higher on Holistics, Lady V. Um, see? I know it's the one about the pedophiles. I know it is. I know it is. See, and I've been having a lot of issues. Oh, this is recent. It's a recent one. I've been, it's definitely the one about the pedophiles. Uh, I have been having issues with my um, other account, my bit shoot. My videos aren't uploading like they're supposed to at all. Uh, you could still subscribe to bit shoot, but I'm going to look for an alternative platform besides bit shoot. And you guys know, you've gone, the minute I say go to my bit shoot, my account's gone. Okay, so I'm being monitored very, 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 very closely. All right, just wanted to share that with you. And this is why we need a guy like this. We've been living through this so-called insurance policy because they know we're putting a stop to their pillaging and their plundering and their hoaxes. The radical Democrats' policies are crazy, their politicians are corrupt, their candidates are terrible, and they know they can't win on election day, so they're pursuing an illegal, invalid, and unconstitutional bullshit impeachment. And there you have it. I see nothing wrong with that. I know there's a lot of people clutching their pearls, being like, oh my God, how can he go? He's a president. Uh, okay, sure. Why don't we go to, uh, you know, HRC or to a Warren? Let's go to one of them, okay? Who are deep devils, all right? Who are the real racist? Spare me the fact that this man's racist. No, he's not. I grew up in a Trump, New York. Never in a million years did I ever think of him or ping him as racist. He's never done anything racist. It's just talking points people are stupid enough to buy into. You know, I have TDS, Trump derangement syndrome, okay? You don't have to like his personality. Same way I don't give two shits if somebody likes my personality or not. But is he getting the job done? He's getting the job done. And if you rather have somebody sit there and lie to your face because they're doing it with a smile... They're doing it with decorum. Then you deserve to fall with them. Straight up. Okay? Because I'm over this. I need somebody that's going to come in and bulldoze this shit. Has nothing to do with politics. Like I said, I'm not into politics. Okay? Totally not. And he is not a Republican. That is the ticket he had to go on because that is the language the normies understand. But after this, because of all the destruction that's going to happen, you really he's not just going to go after Democrats. Whoever is in that stinking swamp, who's ever swamp monsters, he likes to call them, who's ever down and dirty, okay, who's ever in the deep state. All those cabal people, that's, that's who the Q team, and don't think of him as just this individual. He's just the face. Because the normies can't handle what's behind it. They're not going to understand. Eventually they will. And there's a lot of light workers who just don't freaking get it at all. And hopefully they'll wake up enough to that point. That's the whole thing. You have some normies who understand the whole deep state thing, what's going on with the cabal, Illuminati. And then you have light workers who can't handle the truth, you know, or can handle only parts of it, who don't understand 
that you just got to be hardcore sometimes, call out bullshit and just ram things through to get this done. And we need to get this done already because we're all over it. And it's not going to get done with somebody talking like this. And yeah, No, that's needed too. You could be somewhere else doing that. But right now we need warriors to push through. That's what we're doing. That's what I've been all about. And, you know, you could be from every, you could approach it from every angle, you know, just as long as your energy is with it, but you have to have the heart and soul of a warrior to, to be in this battle. This is warrior time, man. This is the down and dirty, like I say, I'm boots on the ground. Get this shit done already because I'm over it. We're all over it, aren't we? Aren't we just over it? Okay. So this is why this man had to take the helm. It had to be some, it had to be somebody who was, who was in it, but not of it. A lot of you don't understand that. You needed to be in it, but not of it to understand what's going on, to gain, to gain the trust enough to get into the corners. This is not something that just happened. This has been going on. This has been in the plan since his last lifetime. This has been in the plans. Okay, this is what a lot of people aren't getting. Get over the personality thing, man. Okay, we need somebody who's not going to sit there and be bullshit on, on freaking, you know, etiquette and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, pretending. No, no more pretending. No more veils. It needs to be in your face. And you need a New Yorker to get in your face. It is what it is. All right? The toughest is the tough. It has to be that way. I just had to say that. So get to my NRVs before they're all made private and disappear. <laughs> okay. Um, so you could see that, like I said, it was going to be at some official thing. I wasn't too sure if it was the, the state of the union. You know, a lot of people suggest, I said, yeah, okay. Sounds like it could be the state of the union, but I saw a pence on one side and what's her face, Pelosi on the other side, and the other ones are in the audience, they're around, but it was very official, and I saw his wife there too, so that, that was the dinner, and that was the post, his post address after getting acquitted, where he dropped the bomb, man, he dropped the freaking bomb, he called, he called everybody out and dropped the bomb, you know, and Mitt Romney is a Republican, by the way, so it's not about that, and yeah, that whole two-party system, that's going away after 2020. It's no more. Literally, literally, it is going away. It's going to be, be now people are going to be like, oh my, that's the whole thing. People are trying to say, oh my God, then what? Oh, he's going to be a ruler, dictator. No, 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 no. It's going, the two-party system is going away because that whole splitting of everybody, the duality is going to be going away. It's going to be about who is the best person for the job. It's not about sticking to one platform or sticking to another platform or sticking to this platform, you know, independent or whatever. And da -da. No, it's not about that. It's just about because he's all he's all in the mix. It's not he's not a Republican. He just had to go on that ticket because Hillary was on the other side. Hillary was on the other side, was the Democrat, whatever. So he's, he used to be a Democrat, by the way. So, you know, he had to take, you have to pick a side, quote unquote, but not really because he's going after Republicans as much as Democrats, as much as whoever, whatever you want to call yourself. Okay. And he also called out Comey. He, uh, no, this is my NRV. He also called out Comey. Yeah, here he is right here. This was the post address that he did. And let us pray. This is the post address that he did, okay? Um, but he also did that that prayer breakfast where he spoke even more. He did mention Comey. Remember what I said about Comey? I said, once he says Comey's name, that's in an NRV. And I talked about it, what, three times? And recently I did it, like last week or a week and a half ago? You know, Something's going to happen about Comey. Let's put it that way. Go back and watch the video. You know, suicide. Something's going to happen. Accident. Okay. That's that's what what's going to happen with Comey. All righty. Oh, now for that. Now for the good, the uh, really awesome stuff. 
Okay, my windows don't even want to close. Alrighty. Now um, I had um, an activation come in and the code that came in with that activation was 4121 or 2141. Okay, uh, this is Joanne Sacred Scribes, which is where I was guided to in 2012 by Ishwa to go to get messages when I get codes because a lot of the codes are attached to messages. And don't think of it as just angel numbers. That's not what it's all about. It's literally an activation. Now, the activation that came through with this code um, was um, the activation that came through has to do with the manifestation of the finances for your highest good, for your highest project, for the master builders out there especially for the master builders, but it goes for everyone who's at that level and open and ready to receive. And please don't ask me how, I'm not going to answer if you ask me, how do I know if I'm at that level? That means you're not at that level if you're asking. Simply put, you have more work to do then. If you're, if you're not there saying, I know this is coming, yes, please, thank you, then you're not at that level if you're asking, how do I know? Okay? So, uh, again, if I don't resonate, I simply don't resonate, and that's fine too. So this is what the 2141 code that came in along, it, it came in, it's coming in with the solar wind that's coming in, but it's also, the, they, the solar winds are hitting us now. It started like yesterday, it was crazy, ridiculously windy. And I woke up this morning I, and I heard red skies at night. Whoa, that, that song from like, I don't know, the eighties or nineties, the nineties, I think. Um, and I turned over and the sky was red. I don't, I've been up since like 1230 this morning. <laughs> so I don't, I think it was like 2.30, 3.30 in the morning. The sky was red outside of me. I was like, whoa. And that's when all of a sudden I got the codes. But then it was also like golden color too. I saw gold, white, but the sky was red. And I saw sparks of gold and sparks of, uh, in my room of, uh, of white. And then that code 2141 came through and then my whole body was like Ooh, being activated. And then I heard it was uh, the code for um, it was the code for the manifestation, the manifestation uh, of of your finances for for your highest good, for your highest projects, for your highest goals that, that we're working on right now for those who are ready to go. It's the people right now who are on, who are having things flow in are the master builders. You know, we're the ones having things flow in and happen right now. And even if not, there's plenty of people who aren't master builders who, you know, just have like their little practice or something going on, their little business or even their job. They, they have stuff flowing in too. Just as long as you know this is message for you, if it resonates, then it's for you. If you're asking, is it for me or not, you know, if you're not sure, if you don't know, if you still feel lost, then it's not for you. You're not there yet. It's not to say all of a sudden the energy is going to go away. No, these are energies coming in so we could build new earth for Terra Nova. Okay. It also came along with, with a big solar flare, a solar blast, along with two um, CMEs which I should show. Let me read this first. Number 2141 is a combination of the energies of two, the attributes of number one appearing twice in the vibration of four. Number two brings the vibrations of faith and trust, service to others, balance and harmony, which I keep getting the two, the balance, the balance, the balance, nonstop. Adapt. Uh, oh God, I have a hard time saying this word. Adapt. Adapt. Stability, adaptability, diplomacy, and meditation, support and encouragement, and serving your divine life purpose and soul mission is your highest purpose, your highest mission. The number one resonates with creativity and creation, new beginnings, and taking, and taking different directions, motivation and progress, self-reliance, striving forward, and pursuing goals achievement, inspiration, and also relate to creating our own realities with our thoughts, beliefs, and actions. So big warning, disclaimer, be very careful what you're thinking because you're manifesting it and it's manifesting rather fast. So keep it high. 
Number four relates to the effort and will, patience and persistence. Persistence is extremely important and so is patience. Realistic views, abilities and stability, service and devotion. Devotion is huge. It does not, the, this, this energy does not support wishy-washiness at all. And a lot of you are finding this out. It does not support wishy-washiness. Practicality, responsibility, building solid foundations and achieving positive results. Building those foundations so we could build a new world on, which it's so interesting with the timing of the building of the foundations. I was told by the office manager at the building that, oh yeah, it should be done. It should be, when was it? Today is already Friday. It was supposed to be done by Monday or Tuesday. And I went yesterday to check out my office because I was fortunate enough to be blessed with some more furniture to almost a hundred percent. It's like my office, like 75% furnished now from my old, from my old employer. I was just about blessed with some more. And I got a text this morning showing, Hey, do you want this chair? Another, you know, just amazing conference rooms already completed. The reception area is totally completed. Now it's just the, my, my office back office, whatever else is going to be in that office with me. That's all that's left. I have the chairs already. Just need the cubicles. So let's see. I already put it in their ear. Hey, I want some cubicles, please. So let's see what happens because everything is just falling into place. Now, again, the carpet's not done yet. It's done in the main room, not done in the other rooms, blah, blah. I ran out of carpeting, yada, yada, yada. I got to get some more. Okay. So I'm like, okay, no problem. And then yesterday I'm like, okay, I'm still waiting for my medical certifications for teaching. Uh, to come in the mail. I finished my adult in October, finished teaching for the pediatrics in January. I should have at least the adults by now. I call them up. I go look in the mail and say, oh, we mailed it. We mailed it over a week ago. I get something in the mail from them. And what is it? It's somebody else's certification, not mine. I'm like, whoa. I was like, you kidding me? And I call them up. I was like, hey guys, I got it. The envelope has my name, but the inside belongs to somebody else. And they're like, oh my God, we're so sorry. We don't know how it happened. Yeah, my oversoul told me it's on purpose because there's something bigger I'm supposed to be doing. I keep getting whispers in my ears and meeting people about it. Now I'm woozy. Oh, vortexy. Okay. And that's what's supposed to be developing. I'm like, okay. So I'm. you have to understand when you get roadblocks in your way to steer you another direction. This is what it's talking about. The angels, your guides, your oversoul is trying to steer you to another direction. I'm surrendering to it. I didn't get upset. In fact, I got happy because I was like, okay. Even though I went and did all that education, put all out for it, I don't care because I'm looking at this huge office in front of me with all this amazing furniture coming from my old employer and all this stuff being done for free. And I'm just like, all right, I'm trusting the process. Trust the process. Trust the process. I'm trusting the process. If this is not my highest and best, and this is what I've been sh shown and given back in 2012, if this is finally time for it, then, hey, I'm game. I'm game. So that's what you have to understand when you're surrendering to the process. Hands off the freaking steering wheel. Let your oversoul guide you. Like I said, that vertical connection is more important than anything. That's the penthouse view. Number four also relates to our passion and drive and the energies of the archangels. The angel number 2141 relates to progressive change renewal and growth and life events, which is goes along with the cosmic red dragon queen energy that came in. She's part of this energy of the 2141 that came in. Also the coding that came in. Now it's time. Now it's time for the, the finances. Major life events are part of the cycles of your life that create turning points to help you reach new levels of awareness. Be aware of the messages and prompts prompts about to messages and and prompts of uh, okay it's weird weird prompts about to the next steps to take upon your path and share your knowledge and wisdom with others in interesting and unique ways okay i didn't even read this before i'm reading this with you guys now and 
Wow, everything I just said, right? Everything I've been saying. The angel number 2141 is a message to keep your thoughts positive and optimistic as you undertake an important new project, role, or venture. Your positive energies, intentions, and actions will manifest your expected results. Trust your angels and guides and your oversoul to deliver all that you need and expect some well-earned rewards for good work well done. I'm expecting that. Yes, please, and thank you. Your angels want you to know that you deserve the very best. Yes, yes, I do. Yes, I do. In fact, I had my 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 uh, normie friend tell me, she goes, oh my God, you so deserve this. You deserve what's going on. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, yes, you do too, okay? Look to the new in different ways to get your work done more effectively and efficiently and listen to your intuition as your angels are sending you guidance and ushering positive energies towards and around you. Learn to hear your inner voice and listen to the message it is telling you. What did I just say? <clears throat> Angel number eight, because I kept seeing the affinity sign, the dragon, the red queen, the cosmic red queen dragon, whose energy I'm embodying right now. She, yeah, she went into that, that eight. The dragon went into the eight. So that's interesting. Let's go to eight. These I don't need. Let's go to the eight. <clears throat> Number eight resonates, resonates with the influences and vibrations of authority and personal power, self-confidence, executive ability, confidence, inner strength, professionalism, <clears throat> and professional. Okay, management, material freedom, success, good, good judgments, money, finances, riches, manifesting wealth, abundance, and prosperity. See, it's all working together. That's why I saw the 2141 code, and then it turned into the cosmic red queen dragon, and she turned into that, that infinity eight sign and just kept going, Shh. and then I embodied it, and it was like, Shh, in my body with the eight. And then I was told to share it. I was like, I wasn't too sure if it was just for me or to share. That's like, for those who are ready to receive this activation, will receive it. Okay? Uh, wealth, prosperity, abundance, provision, investment, dis um, discrimination and discernment, giving and receiving thoughts, dependability, self-reliance, response, practicality, consideration, inner wisdom, self-sufficiency, uh, blah, blah, blah. You could read the whole, the entire thing. Number eight is the number of karma, the universal spiritual law of cause and effect. Number eight brings an uplifting message of encouragement from your angels, your oversoul guides, telling of achievement, success, striving forward, progress, and attainment. It is a message to stay optimistic and listen to intuition and inner guidance as you Hold positive expectations and thoughts of positive abundance in all its forms. Set solid foundations. Again, I told you guys, that's what we've been building. Starting January 1st through February, building those foundations. Again, if you're not doing it right now at this time, it just means you're not ready yet. Get ready. These energies are with us till the end of 2021. Okay? So just get your shit together. <laughs> that's all and partake okay number eight brings the uplifting message of encouragement i read all that right positive support set style so, set solid foundations for yourself and your loved ones as this will ensure your future prosperity the universe and your angels will always support you but it is your responsibility to ensure that you put in the appropriate work and effort when and where necessary so many people are still looking horizontally, looking for others to give them the info, to give them the energy so they could do. I, I don't even understand that. It's not something I could comprehend, to be honest with you. That's just not in my making. Again, it's vertical. And if you sit there saying, I don't know how, but you're not sitting there and making a practice of it. It's like saying, I don't know how to play the piano. I don't know how. Crying and complaining. It's like, did you ever take a piano lesson? No. Do you practice? No. Or you took a piano lesson and you complained that you can't play the piano well. All right, did you practice? No. 
The work must be done. No one can do the work for you, including me. You're encouraged to live up to your full potential. This is about living to your highest and fullest potential, which by the way, if you feel you, you know, you want to join me and Tommy and his crew on a retreat, an amazing Amazon adventure retreat to do that. He'll be doing the physical. I'll be doing the mental and spiritual. We'll be putting that together. You could join us in March. Okay. Um, and also if you have any addictions, no matter what type of addiction it is, I am doing a webinar this Saturday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with the Kali Energy to knock that shit out, okay? Uh, the number eight brings a message from the angels that financial abundance is on its way to you as you have worked diligently and intelligently towards achieving your goals and aspirations and your just rewards will be yours. Yes, be grateful for the blessings in your life and for those yet to come. Woohoo! The number eight tells you to step into your personal power and have faith and trust in your faith and trust, faith and trust, trust in your abilities, skills, talents, and use them for that highest potential. You must trust you. Very important. You can't look to others for confirmation whatsoever. None. You get none here because if you try, you're going to get the very opposite, especially if you think you're going to hit your loved ones up. They will be the ones to knock you down the quickest. FYI, the meanest statements I've ever received, the most discouraging things I've ever received was from those who are closest to me, closest to me, sisters, husband, kids, mother, closest to the closest ones to you will be the ones to tell you the very worst things for real that's why yeshua says jesus christ says it'll be the ones closest to you that can't see beyond they can't see beyond who they think you are they kept referring jerusalem that's why he had to leave jerusalem to become his highest and best and he would say jerusalem jerusalem he would cry out for Jerusalem because that was his home. He loved Jerusalem. But every time he tried with Jerusalem, they rejected him because they just kept saying to him, aren't you the carpenter's son? Aren't you the carpenter's son? That's all they saw him as, as the carpenter's son, not a master. He had to go outside of that for people, for thousands to come listen to his word. That's why I had to leave New York. That's why I had to break away from my family. Everybody... Everybody in my family is moved from New York. I moved from New York to Atlanta. And then a couple of years later, they moved, some of them moved down to Atlanta. And then I came down here to South Florida, which was my final spot. I couldn't come straight to, straight to South Florida because of, um, uh, I didn't get, you know, I got custody of the kids, but I could only move a certain amount of miles away. But then when he came, my ex came to Atlanta, then I was able to file again and be like, yeah, now I can go another couple of thousand miles. <laughs> it was in Atlanta. Now we went back to Newark and I got to be down here where I want to be in the first place, where I belong. Okay. So it's about trusting yourself, your highest potential. All right. Saying yes, please. And thank you. And understanding that these energies, these codes, these activations are with us till the end of 2021. Okay. This is so freaking exciting. I'm so glad I read it live with you guys. Because, you know, I, I didn't read it. I kept, I was like, no, I'm going to read it live. I'm going to read it live so I can get the full gist of it. Again, this is Joanne Sacred Scribes. Awesome sauce. Uh, what did I want to show? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's go over here. Let's get over to the bookmarks. And hopefully my bookmarks didn't all disappear. What's here? Let's see if Solar Ring is up. Come on, Solar Rain. What the heck? Why does it look like this? I want the sun. Mm. 
Yeah, let's go somewhere else. Uh, let's check out what the Schumann is. And Schumann's been doing some, some real funky stuff, right? Some pretty amazing things. Look at this. right there it's the power of energy wow total white out how interesting look what's going on across here the lower vibrations three look what's going on with 3d how different does that look guys look who's what's going on with 3d <clears throat> total and complete breakthrough with 3d wow look at this and this is yes this is um like I said from the beginning, when when um, Wages World was talking about this, and I I said it looked like a it, it was a code, um, not just Morse code. It's like zeros and ones. I said that's like computer coding. That's what this is. The dashes and the spaces. If anyone knows that, maybe you could break this code with the dashes and spaces and the length of the lines figure it out okay the schumann is blam what 69 the schumann peaked at 69 wow fierce fierce so much is going on so much is going to keep happening that is so awesome let's see what else we could see oh yeah i wanted to find those uh cmes that popped off uh, see, let's go to, uh, I wanted to go to stereo A. Okay. Nothing's happening. So they blanked out these two days, huh? Still. Let's see today. Anything up today? Yeah. Bam. Look at that right here. Let me, let me get something better. Uh, where's that other website? Like I said, I, that's why I refer to the professionals because I don't sit here with this stuff. No, this is not the, is this is the one I like. Yeah, the, the solar winds that are blowing in right now, yeah, they're coming from these coronal holes. I covered those coronal holes before uh, a few days ago, and I said, you know, three to four days. That This is the energy that um, with the red, with the cosmic red queen, yeah, coming through those solar winds that are very powerful. I already spoke about that. Oh, man, I closed it. Dang. Sorry about that, guys. Um... Which is the one? Is this the one I want to go to? It has serial two and three. That's not the one I really want. Dashboard. Hmm. Um. No, I'm, I'm trying to find the tool that I usually like to go to. Dang. Uh, I don't remember which one it is, or is it not here? I thought it was seed. See, that's that. All right, I don't want to waste people's time, and I have so much to do. Hold on. Let's go over here. Sorry, I'm still so shaky from the whole thing. I'm very shaky right now. Um, let's go to Wages World. Because he spoke about it. 
like I said, uh, I will defer to the professionals, and he's a professional to me. Okay, let me find where he's talking about it. Well, we already spoke about the solar wind. I already spoke about it a while ago. It's coming in now, right? Um, there was something special and different. There's a couple of CMEs, two CMEs that popped off and this this flash, this solar flash that popped off. Yeah, here it is. Closer to us than it is to the sun. So this flash we're seeing, if it truly came from the side, this flash did not come from the sun. Okay, and now let me show you this because I've not I've not seen an anomaly like this on this tool ever. And I've been watching this now for two to three years. And I'm not saying that, that that this hasn't been seen before. I've just never personally seen this particular anomaly. You see the flash um, on the right. And what's strange about it is it came it's directional. It came from the side. That's what that's what caused me to stop here. Okay, I'm gonna pause it right there. Slow it down. Okay. I'm just going to toggle this through a little bit until we get to it. Um, so, up. yeah. And something else I want you to notice. Right before we see this, okay, do you guys see all this this debris? That's what I'm calling, I'm calling it debris, but it, it's whatever that is. It could be little itty-bitty like meteorites really close to the, uh, the satellite, or it could be just charged particles causing the, the tool to pick that up, right? So... What I noticed, though, is I'm going to back it up. So you, right there, you don't hardly see any of them. Mm -mm. Okay, so you start going forward frame by frame, mm -hmm. then you're going to see this stuff increase. You see how it increased, like, quite a bit just in one capture? All right? Then, then we keep moving on here, and then we start, this, this, is, this, is what, this is what I've seen. Okay? I can tell you guys, I, honestly, guys, I've never seen this. This is something that I've not seen. To me, like I said, it looks like something flashed from the side. Now, it didn't flash on the sun, okay? This flashed where the satellite's at. And I just told you where the satellite was at. It's closer, it, it's close to us. It's, in, it's the one I showed you guys in my previous video when I was talking about the eclipse of, you know, showing the, the eclipse, okay? This is that same satellite. And, you know, this is... Kind of nuts. I mean, look at this. This is um, very, very strange. Okay? Um, and, you know, you're looking at the black and white over there on the left. What that does sometimes when you see it, when it gets a big flash, because I'm going to toggle through here a little bit more, and you can see that it came from the side, and then the satellite itself looks like it blocked that light from its lens. Why do I say that? Because everything over here is dark. Okay, that's what happens. All right? So, but for this one, this is different. This doesn't look like any kind of energy of the tool, any of that. This, okay? So there you go, man. I mean, that, that's kind of nuts in my opinion. But something else to you, I'm going to take you to the next day on this. And um, something I noticed here. Now, this is the most current. Yeah, we just Now, if you guys that. look over here on the left side. On the left. This tool is picking up a CME, and I'm seeing a CME too. Yeah. Okay. And I'm gonna take you guys over to SDO and you see it because it definitely looks like a, a large filament release. Yeah. I just I just covered that on 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 this uh on this one on this site. Okay. So he's just okay. going to talk about that. I mean, it's that. just now happening. I as I'm doing this video, right so here. I'm not gonna be able to give you like the full. You know? <laughs> uh, I, I can't wait it's to a, see it's the actual. It's a rather large this. CME. Okay. There's two of them. So I already just spoke about that. I just want to make sure you guys got to see that that flash. What's this? See how that crimped in real bad right there? Our, yeah, and the other side with the is not doing now. anything. Now, let me see. Watch what else happens. See, it stays that way too. But then look at this. Okay, see how they kind of been in there too? There's a lot of stuff happening on this side, is what I'm trying to say. At the same time, we're seeing that anomaly on the other on the other satellite. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we get that. It goes from that to that, and yeah. So 
does look to be coming from that direction, which means that that did not come from the sun. Okay? That's my main point here. That that flash on that satellite right there did not come from the, come from the sun. And, you know, showing you on know, two different tools here kind of confirms that something's going on there. Okay? Now, what, what was that? Was that a... I, I don't know, guys. So, yeah. I just wanted you, you guys to hear it from a professional about that, that flash that came from behind the sun. Um, and it did hit, you see how it affected the Earth's magnetic field. Um, what it is, I'm not sure 100%. Um, uh, it's so funny because the timestamp on it it's it like it almost coincides with the energy codes that I received. Um, it did not come. It, it did not come through the sun either. Um, it it's not from the galactic. It, you know, it could be from the galactic center. I don't know 100% where it's from. I just don't know. I don't know. I'm not getting anything ominous like I did before. When it was flipping, when you saw the that magnetosphere flipping, that pole flipping of the magnetosphere like that, when it went back and forth real quick, that I knew was uh, ominous. That I knew was uh, the bad guys trying to make the poles flip and trying to cause disaster on the earth and stuff. That I knew uh, for sure. I saw that very clearly. But this, I, I don't, I'm not 100% sure. Because I feel like something harnessed energy and then blew it off. That's what I keep seeing. Maybe it's the sphere being in alliance. Sphere being in alliance, as they call themselves. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm not getting a horrible feeling from it. I just know these codes are awesome. And um, I was guided by my oversoul to just meditate on that number. Uh, but the way the sequence it put for me was 4121. But it's the same definition, 2141, 4121, same thing. Okay, so you could meditate on those numbers, okay? The same as before, write them down, stick them above your altar, focus on it, you know, um, use your singing bowl while chanting, you know, OM, which is the sound of, of source manifestation, um, the, the special sounds that my oversoul gave me was ma, M A, A A H om, ma, a om, which we've done that many, many times. Uh, my oversoul said it is the, it is the sound of creation for this new age. And I received that ma, a om, God, five years ago. Okay. And I've only got it to use it at very particular times like now. All right, guys. So lady queen V queen V out. All right, guys, and um, yeah, lighten up, try to enjoy this time, and um, stay vertically connected, okay? So don't forget about the webinar that's happening tomorrow, and um, for my, don't forget my uh, Patreons on Sunday, we're having our Q&A and meditation, okay? Uh, that's at the 444 and higher level Patreons, okay? And then I do my monthly giveaway for a free session for those at the 999 level and higher okay queen v out bye guys we already got the victory we got this the battle is already won now is the roundup and yes you need a an sob to do the roundup deal with it all right bye <laughs>